All right, guys, let's jump right into this video. This is going to be a video editing test of the Surface Pro and the Surface Go. Surface Pro is on the left here. We're going to start up my video editing software so you can see the speed of that loading. Now the Surface Pro on the left has an i5 processor. It has 4 gigs of RAM and HD 620 graphics. The Surface Go on the right, it has a Pentium Gold processor, 4 gigs of RAM and HD 615 graphics. So a little, little slower hardware, but not horrible. We're going to start with a 1080 by 30 video test. And I'm just showing you there, if you were watching, uh, that they're both on the highest performance settings. So I don't have, you know, I, I made sure that they both had the same settings. They're both running the same exact video editor. And as you can see here in 1080 by 30, the Surface Go is what I'm focusing on here because in 1080 by 30, super smooth playback there. You can edit on this Surface Go without any problem in 1030. Now if you start adding super crazy 3D effects and such, you might run into some skipping or, or some lag, but I haven't had any problem doing 1080 by 30 video. Now I don't do super crazy 3D effects and such. I mostly clip together th uh, different video clips, add in words, music, so on. Uh, but the Go will do pretty much anything I need in 1080 by 30. Now you can see here when we're rendering the 1080 by 30, the Surface Pro on the left is much faster. Uh, I've compared the two many times and you'll see it in this video as well. <laughs> and the Surface Pro seems to be about twice as fast, maybe even slightly more than that. You'll see when the Surface Pro is done creating this video file, the Surface Go is going to be a little bit under 50%, probably around 45%. We'll see based on these uh, bars here when the uh, Surface Pro is done. So the Surface Pro is done now, and yeah, it looks like we're at like 40 to 45%. Now we're getting up by 50%. So I skipped ahead the video just about, I don't know, 30, 45 seconds there. And of course, you know, it creates the video file and does it just fine. So if you're looking for a portable device you can bring anywhere and edit 1080 video on, 1080 by 30 video on, the Go is very capable. Definitely could do it. So let's go ahead and bump things up and try 1080 by 60. Now this is where things get a little more tricky for the Go. The Surface Pro handles it perfectly. You're going to see no lag over there. But on the right side, you're going to see a lot of skippiness. And there might be some, maybe, settings I could change in Windows or something to try to get it a little bit smoother, but you're going to have some skips. I've edited on the Go in 1080 by 60 and it's very doable if you're doing, like I said, pretty you know, low editing tasks, you're not doing anything crazy, you can piece together different movie clips and you can add text and stuff and it'll render it as you see here. Uh, you're just not going to do anything crazy and it's going to get kind of annoying if you were using it all the time. But you can get away with it for on-the-go use if you must use 1060, uh, 1080 by 60. So as you can see here, the Pro again finished about twice as fast and then we're going to go ahead and skip about a minute and the Go will finish. So the Pro is just doing awesome. 1080 by 60 perfectly flawless. You can add in almost any effects you want and I've had again zero issues. So let's go ahead and skip ahead <coughs> and now the Go is done. It took about twice as long as the Pro did. Now here's where some people might want to know what the Pro can do. Because obviously the Go's having some issues at 108060. It's not really an ideal thing to work on. Uh, the Pro was great at 108060, but can the Pro do 4K? And 4K by 30, here's the preview. And we know the Go's going to skip, so keep your eyes on the Pro. I'm holding up four fingers for 4K and then three fingers for 30. That was just for my own reference. As you can see, the Pro is not skipping on 4K by 30. I've added video at 4K by 30 on the Pro and it has been fine for me. Again, I keep repeating myself, but I don't do any crazy, insane 3D effects or anything. So if you're going to be doing some crazy editing, you might experience that. But the Pro will do 4K video editing, no problem. Uh, the Go will render 4K, but if you're doing anything more than just piecing together a couple like video files, 
and just making a final video file out of you know those video files it's really you're not going to have any any good experience with it it's just going to be a whole problem it's going to be skipping all over the place it's really not going to work for you so the goes basically for well as the title of the of the unit is it's for on the go and if you want to do like I said 1080 by 30 even 1080 by 60 you can get away with for minimal stuff the go works great the pro on the other hand it, it will do you know it's not going to be great for everyone especially the high-end people but for any normal person doing 1080 60 even 4k it's going to do basically everything you need so as we can see here the Pro's finishing and the Go again is about halfway done. The Pro took like, I want to say about four minutes to do that. It's like a 15 second clip. And the Go is going to take like eight or nine minutes. Maybe it was a little bit longer than that even. We're going to skip ahead here again. And it's just about done. And both of them will play 4K video just fine. Uh, they'll stream YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, uh, anything you can think of just fine. So video files done. Now we'll go ahead and do just one last demonstration. It's not really a test even though I think I put that in annotations. One last demonstration um, just of the speed of the two. I multitask on the Pro with no issue. I can do anything I want. Um, but on the Go, some people in reviews said it's not that great at multitasking. For my uses, it's been fine. I can have five Chrome browsers open. I can have Pandora playing. I can play a video. I really don't have any issue with speed. But what I'm doing here is just getting one of my videos going at the same resolution. And I just want to show you guys that when you maximize and minimize the screen, uh, you can just kind of tell the speed difference. It's just, you know, the go is just slightly slower. Here, I'm just trying to sync the videos up, which I yeah, did pretty good all right there. So as you'll see, when you press them both, the Pro is almost instant, whereas the Go has like a, I don't know, a second maybe, one one thousand, maybe, maybe not even a second of lag. And for me, that's not an issue. You know, this is an on-the-go device, and... I'll use it at home as well. It, it works great, like as a tablet kind of thing, just as streaming media, checking out websites, doing whatever. And I have no issues with the speed. So, you can read my overall thoughts here at the end. Pause it if you like so you can see everything. And any questions, let me know. Any comments, let me know. Hopefully, that was helpful to you guys if you have any interest in using one of these machines for video editing. And, uh, We'll see y'all later.